about these pigments. Tell me what you love about them as an independent stylist. This side first. Oh, you don't have a thing. Here we go. I love how versatile they are and that you can literally add them to any and everything. To me, it's saved a lot of money not having to buy oxidative boosters and boosters for my Vivids. So I like that you can put them into everything. And then I like that you can put them into the crystal gel after you are stopping oxidation. So you can tone and stop oxidation at the same time. Awesome. So one thing you guys need to realize is that when she, she mentioned inventory, anybody who's booth rent, every, anybody in here booth rent? Anybody function that way? Do you have a lot of space to keep all of your stuff? You just have a little, right? So there's nothing worse than having five different color lines that have 7,000 SKUs. And when you go to your cabinet and you look and your client changes their mind on you and you're like, wait a minute, I didn't buy purple, I bought red because you said we were gonna be red. Well, if you have your pulp red or your Joico red or, your, or any, any red, whatever red you're using, if you're going back to purple, think about it. You already have your red, now what do you need to add? You've got your Mala Blue. I love it when I can say that. That just makes me happy. So what Savannah is doing back here is she is taking just these three primary pigments and she is mixing all of the color wheel. So if you take your primaries and you mix them together, you get your secondaries. You take your secondaries and mix it with, isn't that cool? That was a planned effect, I'm like a shadow. <laughs> every time I'm on stage, every time. So when she's mixing those, so you take your secondaries, add a primary, you get your tertiary. You guys have everything you need. Do you wanna hear the easiest formulation for color correction? How many of you like color correction? How many of you absolutely hate it and you run? Me. So, not me, that's actually what I specialize in is correction. So the, when I run is when you walk in and tell me that you want to blow out. If you're getting a, if I, he knows, he's tried to teach me so many times. If I pick up a round brush, you're getting a haircut because it's gonna get stuck right here. So, but I'm on the other end. So if you come in with hair down to here, you've got five lines of demarcation and you tell me you've used box black and henna, I am all over that. How many of you correct henna? That means every single one of you is missing out on money behind your chair. Why don't you correct henna? It fries. The reason it fries is because of the metallic salts. If you take the metallic salts out of the way, now you have a color correction just like every other color correction. The way that you do that is with Malibu C's CPR. So you do a CPR treatment, you pull out the metallic salts, some of the stain that's on the hair, you do a test strand, and then you proceed like you would with any other color correction. Don't let henna scare you. Just start going at it that way. And think about what that could do for you behind the chair. What it did for me, I was in a little bohemian area, and so there was a lot of henna usage going on. I was the only stylist in a five-mile five radius in this one town, and probably further, that would correct henna. So I had all of these, I had henna Mondays, basically is what it was. So start adding that to your service. Look at what Malibu C can do for you behind the chair. So with that, coming back to Anthony, he utilizes things so differently. And when Savannah brought up doing the pigments in the crystal gel, I'm gonna let him explain that to you so you can, this is gonna be one of those moments, you're gonna be like, why didn't I think about that? Mm -hmm. But first, I want you to explain why we even need to stop oxidation. Well, when you're rinsing out your lightener or your color at the shampoo bowl and then you shampoo and you condition it, the peroxide in the hair actually stays active for 48 hours. So for two whole days after your client has left the salon, they continue to process. So our job as professionals is to make sure that our clients are leaving the salon without any active chemical on their head. So by utilizing the crystal gel and stopping the oxidation process at the end of the service, they are leaving the salon with no active chemicals on their head. Um, a lot of times, whenever we're doing blondes, blondes are our biggest money maker in the salon, and we usually tone them or gloss them, whatever term you're using. But if you can use crystal gel and turn your, tint, your crystal gel into like a light lavender or a periwinkle color, um, and then put it over the entire head of hair, you're doing double duty. You're stopping the oxidation of your lightener. You're also pre-toning, so you're kind of filling the hair for your actual color service after. So now that toner will last even longer and it can grab onto the hair a lot better because you're normalizing the pH, evening out the porosity of the hair as well. Does that make sense to you guys? So it sounds like an extra step, but think about what you're doing for your client. They'll continue to come back because you are the only one that can make their blonde last longer and get it to that cool tone that they like. And then you infuse your shampoo and conditioner and make 
that cool toned as well. So now their hair stays cool toned throughout the entire time. They still get roots, so they still have to come back. But you're the only stylist out there that is really taking care of them by customizing the service through and through. Can you guys, can you zoom in close on this? Can you guys see this light blonde here down on the ends? Do you see any blue in this at all whatsoever? No. But what Anthony maintains her blondes with is what? Um, we've been using the Revitalize shampoo and conditioner. We actually infused it with our own um, very blue-based violet by mixing red and blue together, a little bit more blue than red. And then you shake it up really, really well. And I say, hey, Alex, when every time you use this, give it a good shake, have a go. And then uh, that's how she's been keeping her blonde cool toned. It's also how she's been controlling some of this warmth because she was actually red, artificial red, by the way, before we got her to this really pretty blended balayage look. Yes? For the... Your crystal gel. So you're going to mix it to color that you want. I mean, you, you kind of have to play with dilution and visual. If it's this blonde and I make my crystal gel very dark purple, it's going to turn purple. If I wanted to just kind of pre-tone and soften the blow of that yellow or any kind of warmth I don't want, my, my rule of thumb, and it's kind of silly, is think of Easter. All of those colors are very pastel. That's your go-to when it comes to blondes. Think of that color wheel your pastels. Yes? Uh-huh. Are you guys using You bet we are. Yes. You bet. No, 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 you didn't. I, we get excited when we get questions like that because people are like, you had that moment. You're like, what? Did they just say that they put that in there? Yes, because those pigments can live anywhere. They are non-oxidative. Well, and just to kind of touch off of your question real quick, and then I'll get to you. If you look back here, she has colors already pre-mixed in color applicator bottles. So that's how you would have your setup uh, on your back bar, your station, your color bar, whatever you use. And then you will take an empty color applicator bottle with two ounces of warm water, pour your packet of crystal gel in there, because that's what you're going to use to stop oxidation. And then you already have your pigments in solution form, and you just season your soup to get it where you want it. And like if it gets that. too dark, it. add a little bit of more water, because then that will dilute it. Nice. You have a question? Sometimes, if there's mineral left on the hair, so that's a great question. So that's why he said always go with the pastels, because when you think about it, it's always easier to add more than to have that moment and have to back back out. So especially when you're just using it to tone and you're using it in water, you're using it in crystal gel, you can always add more. So I, I suggest that everybody starts light. And what he was talking about with the revitalized kit, so I'm, I'm just gonna ask a blunt question, it's probably gonna start a debate later on Facebook, but how many of you are actually appalled by diversion? Show me. Do you, know, do you guys know what, why diversion bothers us so much? It's because it takes our money, but the problem is, you guys, we're the ones that do it. Do you know how to stop diversion? Start customizing everything. Yeah. Everything. <laughs> Everything. So my mom is a stylist. She's been doing hair longer than I've been alive. And one of the things that she's, she just hounded on me when I was in beauty school, if you are doing something that the client can do for themselves at home, you cannot call that a professional service. If you are a hairstylist, be a hairstylist. Use professional products. Don't pull things out of your kitchen cabinet. If you customize for them, they can't get that anywhere but from you. So with these infusion kits, they are an amazing formula in itself. They all have color lock. There are three of them. There's one for volume, one for revitalize, which is your hydration, and then there's one for textured hair. So you can use these formulas by themselves, or like Anthony said, you can customize. And that's what Savannah's going to be doing. So Savannah's actually going to customize what the at-home maintenance is going to be. Because when we sell products to our clients, we don't want them changing their hair at home. We want them maintaining what we did in the salon. So if I did somebody with a blue, I don't want to actually match you with the exact same blue shampoo and conditioner because I don't want you altering that at home. I want to give you a lighter version to maintain what you and I created. So when you're using the pigments in your crystal gel, in water, as an overlay, as a filler, any way you're using them, that's something that they're not going to get from anybody else. So let's talk to Georgia a little bit about how she's using, how she uses the pigments every day behind the chair. One of my favorite ways to use the pigments is I have a lot of clients that they want to go blonde and then they want to go dark again, you know, and we always get stuck on that every other situation. But when we look at when we have to fill hair, what do we usually have to fill hair with? What colors? We have that when the pigments. So it's one of my favorite tools to use 
to be able to do that. I can mix up whatever color, do that right at the bowl. The nice thing is it cuts down my time. I don't have to put a color on, process, then put my final color on. I'm able to put those pigments on, fill the hair, and then put my final color right over that because I'm not using a chemical. It's just pigment and water. So you're able to utilize that everywhere and you're able to customize. And the question that was asked with Anthony, what about the ratios? Here's the thing. Malibu C will not ever come out with formulas for you with the pigments. Because I can create a formula for you all day long, and these guys can give you formulas too. But at the end of the day, their client with their head of hair is not in your chair. So my formula doesn't matter. Your formula matters. So when you're making these, let Malibu C know what you're doing. Because what we did was we're trying to take the industry back. For so long, so many things have been dumbed down for us, and we don't have a choice. You pick up a tube, you don't know how it's calibrated, and you're hoping that it's gonna come out, right? So start taking control of what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Okay, so she's asking if you fill and you're using an oxidative color, a permanent color on top of it, is, is that gonna seal the color in? So understand when you're using these pigments, these are a stain. So they are not going to completely wash all the way out, period. You'll have to remove them just like you do everything else. You're just building your foundation. So to answer your question for longevity, absolutely it's gonna last longer because you created a solid foundation. How, if it was just the pigment, for me, I start every single color correction no matter what I'm doing with CPR, every time. Um, and I'm gonna see how much I can fade out. Because with CPR, CPR is a non-oxidative product. It, it is, to my knowledge, one of the only color removers on the market that is non-oxidative. It's vitamin C and clay, you guys. It can't cause damage, you can't overprocess. you can't overuse it. So I'm gonna take all the minerals, medication, and what pigment is sitting on top of that out. Then you need to see the hair naked. So one of the phrases that I use a lot is if you've never seen the hair naked, how do you know how to formulate? You're formulating for what you think you see. That's like helping your best friend pick out a bikini and all you've ever seen her wear is a snowsuit. You don't know what's under there. You need to know what's under there, so you need to see the hair naked first. So for me, it's CPR, and I know for you guys, most of, most of everybody, it's, it's our CPR is our go-to first. So Amanda, let's, let's shift that to you with removing these colors. So how you remove is basically planned on what you're doing next, correct? Yeah, when you're doing your consultations for your mermaids, you're gonna notice that they're gonna start coming in more regularly, and they're never gonna be like, oh, I want, you know, they're not gonna go on, ugh, I can't talk, go from pink to red. They always wanna go from red to green, it seems like. Does anyone else have this problem? It's yeah. never an easy transition. It's a freaking nightmare, right? <laughs> so I had one the other day, and what I was utilizing was color shifting my colors, and I utilized the pigments actually to create like blue shampoos and purple shampoos and orange shampoos to neutralize unwanted tones in my canvas rather than simply removing it every single time. Because in our heads, we're always like, oh, white hair, every fashion color needs white hair. If you overblow that cuticle, it's not going to stay. That, that's a great point. Um, it's kind of like shingles on a roof. I mean, once they're gone, they're gone. You get, and there is no replacing the cuticle. So what Amanda's talking about is she's talking about the pigments come like this. You mix them with water, and you actually create the ratio. We said to mix them with four ounces, that's your starting point. You find out what works for you. Inside the infusion kits, we didn't give you formulas. What we gave you, if you can actually sh come in on this one, maybe. What we gave you, we're color wheels, because that's what you guys understand. And we're visual people, so it really doesn't do you a lot of good if we've got all these ratios and all these numbers, because it's gonna be different for everybody. So instead, there is no right or wrong way to use these. It's right for what you have in the chair. So when you're looking at color correction, here's the easiest way to figure out color correction. First thing you need to do is you need to figure out what you have. Everything comes from the primaries. So say I have somebody who's got blue hair, she wants to go back to a neutral, right? So I already have my blue. Out of the primaries, what's missing? Red and yellow. So you figure out what you have, you figure out what's missing, and you put it back. It's that simple. So not only can you create all these colors, but now you can correct all of these colors and you choose how you put them in there. So if you guys are using a Plex or using any of any bond, anything, and you're putting that in your formula anyway, start putting the pigments in your bond. That's going in your color. Now it's all customized. If you're sending them home with a treatment, uh, say Olaplex number three, great. Create your custom color and send them home with it. And then you've also got your shampoo and conditioner. So it's a one, two, three punch.
So when we're going through, I'm going to take you back over here to Jasmine. So when we're going through with Jasmine, what I'm going to do for her actually, so since I'm giving her a purple and we're going to pull that over, I've got my red, we're going blue and a little bit of red on top, I'm actually going to give her a shampoo and conditioner that's not the same. I'm going to create a red shampoo and a blue conditioner. And then also, if she's a paying client in my chair, I'm going to retail her this customized mask. This is the color I'm putting on her hair. So now she can pop it at home. But the thing is, when she runs out, she can't order this anywhere. She's got to come back to me. And the cool thing, because we formulated together, I can adjust this formula as well. So it all comes down to what you guys need to do in, in the chair. It's, it's about you and your client. It's about your time and your money. So when you're in the booth or you're online and you're looking for different things, different education tools, what we did was we created you basically a textbook and we broke it down into sections because Malibu has a lot of products and we, we have questions all the time. Well, how do you know which one to use? So in our collection, we have the color correction toolbox, which is going to tell you CPR, DDL, crystal gel, undo goo, all of those are basic color correction tools. Then we go into mixology. When you go into mixology, that's actual technique. Then you go into the care. When you're looking at the care and you're going to the booth and you're all going to buy these, you're going to look at all of these different pictures. This was maintained with blue in the shampoo. Then you go in for your warm. Then you go in for your cool brunettes because you guys, all color needs care, whether it's artificial or natural. So don't think just because your client doesn't get artificial color that they don't need to maintain their color. They want to maintain their tone. They want their hair to look beautiful all the time because you guys know that we are some of the most judgmental people on the face of the earth. <laughs> It, are, well, we no. are we not? Are we not? We did it walking out of the <laughs> elevator. Like somebody walked by and I just wanted to say, do you want to be a model? Because we, we could help you. We do we it when we're at the you. airport. When you're like, we did. I was like, mm -hmm. oh my God, did you see? This whole plane, I could help all of you. All, all of them. All of them. <laughs> I'm not allowed to walk down the color aisles at Target or Walmart. Um, my husband forbids me because I will walk up and say, just put it down. Just put it down. It's not going to come out that way. And if you still choose to do it, here's my card and I'll fix it for you afterwards. Do you know how much money you make that way? <laughs> yes, <laughs> stop them from doing it. So you really wanna make sure that you're branding yourself, you're customizing, you wanna own your space with your client. Let Malibu C help you own that space with your client. So when you're customizing in your color, you're customizing with your care, you have your education tools, and these actually can just hang on your station for a point of reference. These are great to have to be able to look because you guys know we have to look at things, we have to smell it, and we have to touch it, right? If you look at a bottle and it's pretty, you're gonna pick it up. If it smells bad, you're gonna put it back down, you're not even gonna play with it. So really focusing on how we learn and how our clients learn, they're visual people too.